so Shared Capital is a cooperative um, of co-ops. Uh, so we're a cooperative owned by cooperatives. We've got about 250 cooperative members who invest 200, in- 200, excuse me, 250. 250. Yeah, 250 okay. cooperatives from very small to a little bit larger across <laughs> the country. Um, and they are um, in, they're, they're investing in shared capital, putting capital into our fund and also borrowing from um, shared capital. So we are a loan fund, uh, and I'll throw, out, I'll throw out terminology for those who care about it, but we are a community development financial institution, or CDFI, um, and a loan fund that provides uh, financing just to co-ops. Um, and again, we are um, owned by the cooperatives who borrow and invest in us. So when you say co-ops, you are talking about housing, worker, uh, um, producing, and et cetera, food co-ops, yeah, so the, the whole nine yards. That's right. We are a cross-sector uh, cross co-op, so we, have, we work with housing co-ops, we work with small farmer producer co-ops, we work with um, worker co-ops, uh, and other consumer co-ops and purchasing co-ops. So yeah, across the, across the gamut, any type of cooperative, as long as they are operating on a cooperative basis, can be a member and borrow from or invest in the fund. Right. Uh, how did you end up in this bus uh, business industry yeah. um, and, uh, and at Shared Capital? Well, I, my, I came out of um, student organizing and a variety of different types of economic and social justice organizing um, and um, realized that access to capital was pretty powerful, that the, those who have it, <laughs> Um, can do a lot Very more. Those <laughs> are started trying to find ways of moving capital into the the work, the work, the various movement work I was committed to. That started with fundraising and grant access. But what I realized was that um, that that had some limitations, and so started looking at different types of investing. Social in, impact investing was what it was called I'm now. What impact investing, um, and so I I ended up getting involved in. First, working with some loan funds that work with small businesses and communities, trying to um, provide capital to folks who didn't typically get access to the capital, and then um, and discover really frankly discovered co-ops along the way in that work. That's when I really learned more about co-ops. When I was working with all different kinds of of small businesses, local businesses, um, and realized um, that co-ops. I loved the model. Didn't know it, you know, all that well. Got to know it a little bit better as we, um, as I encountered more co-ops, I became more excited about them, about the possibilities of the collective work towards shared goals, um, rather than sort of hope throwing every all, every individual to the whim of the market and hoping they, um, you know, that they fend for themselves. Yeah. What if we, you know, realizing that if we came together and really uh, worked on these issues, we could really make more of a difference. And so was really excited to get involved with Shared Capital. About 12 years ago, I came on board. We'd been facing some tough economic times as part of the Great Recession, uh, and uh, came in to try and sort of work with the existing board and staff to, um, to sort of find, the, find our path going forward out of that. And so I've been with the organization since then. Okay, so uh, has the pandemic affected uh, your organization and access to capital and et cetera, et cetera. If you could uh, just kind of tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, the, I mean, the, so the pandemic um, has affected our access to capital in, some, in a couple of ways. Um, one is that when, when, thing, when we started being aware, when, just as things were unfolding, I guess, uh, we uh, saw that a lot, of, a lot of people were really anxious about the economic situation. And so we immediately offered to all of our borrowers the opportunity to just defer payments for a period of time uh, while we all figured out how this was going to impact um, impact us, and so that um, was really important to do. But it also meant we had a lot less capital coming in. Okay. Usually, we've got money coming in every month from our borrowers that we then can put out as new loans. In addition to going out and raising new dollars, we're we're putting that money that's coming back in to work. So that had an immediate impact. It was really important to be able to do that, and I I'm pleased we were able to do that, but it, it does reduce the funds we have available for new loans. And then in addition to that, um, we did see some funders, uh, we were in the middle of applying for one 
uh, investment. It would have been a, a large loan to us or a grant to us, depending on how it had played out. And that big large funder uh, announced they were not going forward with their plans because they needed to shift their, wow. their focus. Wow. So um, that was disappointing. Fortunately, we've seen other, you know, we've seen some other really committed investors and funders who've said, oh, now more than ever, we need to make sure we get money out and we get it out efficiently and quickly so that folks can put it to work where it's needed. And so we've been turning to those funders and away from those who are shutting down the channels. Okay. So uh, I noticed on your website that you, you are in a position to provide emergency loans. Is, is that still the case? Yeah, we are providing, so in addition to allowing our existing borrowers to put off payments for a period of time so that, um, you know, that they can hold their cash and while they need it, we also are offering emergency loans to those who need additional cash, both our existing members and borrowers, okay. as well as other co-ops. So we have made um, a number of, of small emergency loans just to help folks cash flow through this time, have enough cash to pay the most critical things. We're also trying to work with those co-ops to help them figure out how to how to make adjustments so that they can um, survive as well as access the SBA various small business administration emergency funds so yeah but we have our own small pool of emergency funds um, maybe if I could just I'll just say our board um, was really uh, responsive and they stepped up and said let's and you know, we they, uh, they decided to make make it available more quickly than our usual process we made a simplified okay. application. We made a simplified approval process so we could try to get dollars out quickly. Um, the maximum is $50,000, so it's not, it's not a lot of money. Um, and we realized that debt might not be the solution for everyone uh, during this time, but trying to get dollars in the hand and then have a pretty flexible repayment plan for those who borrow. Okay. And, and, uh, and if anyone out there that's watching <clears throat> that, uh, is interested in exploring that possibility, they could just contact you through your website. That's right. They can email info at sharedcapital.coop or go to our website, sharedcapital.coop, uh, and, and get more information. Okay.